What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today I'm bringing you guys some gameplay of the brand new Singular SAC 3 SMG in Advanced Warfare. So if you guys don't know, today was a huge day. We had 10 new Royalty Elite weapons added into the game, which I'm gonna be covering in later videos, as well as six new variants of the SAC 3 SMG that are singular, non akimbo versions. The SAC 3 is normally an akimbo SMG, but uh, these six new variants are all singular. Now, I've unlocked five out of the six. You guys can see them here. Number one is the SAC 3 Royalty. You guys have seen that in this gameplay. This one is by far my favorite. It's got plus three damage in exchange for negative three handling, which I think is a very good trade-off. Next up, we have the Loner, which is negative two fire rate in exchange for plus two range, which isn't too bad either. Next up, we have the Solitary, which is negative two accuracy in exchange for plus two mobility. I think that one's the worst out of the bunch, at least from what I have so far. Next up, we have the Introvert, which is kind of like the close range specialist. You've got negative two accuracy in exchange for plus two fire rate. This thing burns through ammo like crazy. And then finally, we have the Isolated, which is the exact same as the Royalty, plus three damage in exchange for negative three handling. So those are the five out of the six that I have so far. I'm not sure what that sixth one's like, but I believe it's the enlisted version because we have both the professionals already as well as all three of the elites. So uh, that sixth one isn't really going to be too notable. We've got the good ones so far. And honestly, like, I've had some, some pretty good experience with this so far. Like, I've used, you know, quite a few of these variants and tried it out quite a bit this afternoon. And I really don't like the weapon very much. Like, I was really excited to get this, like, new singular SMG. I thought it was going to be, like, a totally new SMG in the game. I thought it was going to be kind of like the Vector. And I thought it was going to be, like, a, a really good, like, solid weapon you could roll with. But it's really, like, it's kind of tough to use. Like, I kind of struggled to get this gameplay here. Up close, if you're, like close to medium range, and I'm talking like close, close, it's a pretty good weapon, especially that introvert that has the increased fire rate. That thing just absolutely melts people. It's a lot of fun to use. But if you're getting out to medium range, you are getting outgunned by everything, even by ASM1s and, uh, and by KF5s and stuff. So it's really like, if I was to be honest, it's on the lower end of the SMGs. It's not the worst SMG in the game, but it's definitely not the best. And that kind of bums me out. Like, I was really looking forward to, uh, to getting a new, like, super good SMG that I could use to replace my ASM-1 every now and then and not feel like I was at too much of a disadvantage. But it, it really, like, it doesn't compete with the ASM-1 by any means. And it's not even as good as the KF-5. The KF-5 is, is, you know, it has better control of its recoil. This gun, it just, it has a lot of recoil. That's all I can say about it. So, it, it can be kind of tough to manage at times, but it is kind of a, a new, fun gun to use. Now, one thing that really kind of threw me for a loop, and you guys might have seen me kind of confused by this when we opened it up for the first time and checked it out for the first time in our advanced supply drop opening video we did earlier this afternoon. Make sure you guys check that out if you missed it. But anyway, you guys can see in this gameplay, you actually, you still hold it in one hand. So it's like, you know, the SAC 3 is the normal version, the akimbo version. You hold each one with one hand, and that makes sense. But with the singular version, you're still only holding it with your right hand, which I just thought was kind of funny. Like, your left hand never comes over to help this thing out unless it's reloading. And, and like, maybe that's why it's got so much recoil. That guy needs to get his hand on the weapon so that he can have a little bit better control of that gun and, and reduce the recoil a little bit. I wish there was a way to do that. But, yeah, that's just kind of the uh, the new SAC 3 1.5, SAC 3 not akimbo, whatever you want to call it in a nutshell. I wanted to bring you guys some gameplay so you guys can see it. I'm sure a lot of you guys really want to see it. It's, it's a, a fun weapon to use. It's something different. It's something a little bit refreshing, but it's definitely not like the best. It's not competitive in comparison to the ASM-1, which uh, you know most of the SMGs in the game aren't really. So I guess it's a decent SMG, but it's not quite as good as I was hoping it would be. And maybe that's a good thing. I guess we don't want two overpowered SMGs in this game. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will be checking out some of the other uh, elite variants or royalty elite variants of weapons in this game coming tomorrow. So make sure you guys come check back for that. And again, make sure you guys check out the 100 Advanced Supply Drop opening video I did just a couple of hours ago. Click the annotation right here on screen to go check that thing out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you later. Peace out.